for the most part, companies are pretty good at replicating the taste of name brand sodas. Walmart's Great Value branded root beer tastes nearly identical to AMW. Bubble Up is essentially 7-Up. And Mountain Lightning is awfully hard to differentiate from Mountain Dew. But there's one soda that no one seems to be able to imitate successfully. Coca-Cola. The reason for this? Step in Company. Step in Company is a manufacturer of specialty chemicals based out of Illinois. What makes them special is that they're the only company in the world with a license from the DEA to import coca leaves. They import approximately 100 metric tons of dried coca leaves a year to two primary customers. Mallinckrodt, a pharmaceutical company that uses the extract for medicinal purposes, and Coca-Cola. It's this secret extract that gives Coca-Cola the punch it's famous for. You should note, however, that this doesn't mean that Coca-Cola has cocaine in it. The original recipe did call for coca with cocaine, but the narcotic was removed from the formula years ago. No one outside of the company and federal government knows what the extract from the coca leaf is, but we do know that it's not liquid cocaine. A company spokesperson from the 1980s was quoted saying, Ingredients from coca leaves are used, but there is no cocaine in it, and it is all tightly overseen by regulatory authorities. If that's not enough to convince you of Coca-Cola's lack of cocaine, then think about it this way. Cocaine is one of the most expensive narcotics by weight. The street prices vary by quantity, purity, and locations of the sale, but reliable estimates have a pound of cocaine costing between a conservative $15,000 to $30,000. A bottle of Coke costs less than $2, so there's no way in the 21st century for Coca-Cola to put cocaine into its bottles and still turn a profit. 